After receiving the product, first check whether the accessories are complete and in good condition. Install the four non-slip mats one by one. Grab the knife iron with your hand. Swing the handle up and down to put it in. Knock it with a hammer or other hard objects. If the handle is too tight, tilt its tail up a little. Then knock it with a hammer or other hard objects. This is the magnetic positioning bar, which can be absorbed on the steel panel. Now make a paper cutting demonstration. First, align the sides to be cut with this magnetic positioning bar. Put the paper on. Hold it down with your hand. Then the cutting is finished. First of all, check the top strip because the paper will be close to the white strip when it is cut. Just like this, so the strip can't tilt. First, we need to check the strip is parallel to the scale line below. If not, then the cut paper will be crooked. Due to transportation, the screws inside the white strip may loosen, which may skew the strip. You can gently knock it with a hammer until the strip is parallel to the scale line. Next, to see if the positioning bar is perpendicular to the white strip. If not, the cut paper will be crooked. As long as the white strip is parallel and the positioning bar is vertical, there will be no problem with the cut paper. When cutting paper, press the paper with your hand and then cut it off. If you don't press it with your hand, it will be offset and crooked when cutting to the lower half. When making the knife, there are three places that must be bent. The first bend is at the front of the lower blade. In order to increase the bite force between the blades when cutting the first half of the paper, so as to achieve the better cutting effect. The second band is the upper blade, which will have a curvature like a Japanese knife. In order to reduce the resistance of the paper when cutting, this is the third band. These three bands are to increase the friction between the two blades in the cutting process, so as to achieve the better cutting effect. After all, our blade is not as sharp as a kitchen knife, and it has no cutting edge. It is a safe blade. If the blade is not sharp after a period of use, you can file the blade with a fine line file. The two surfaces of the lower blade and the two surfaces of the upper blade need to be polished. Four surfaces in total. When the file is used, it should be laid flat, and it should not be polished obliquely, which will break the cutting edge. Although the file should be laid flat, be careful not to polish the panel, otherwise it will scratch the panel. Some customers have reported that when cutting multiple sheets of paper, the tail of the paper is not easy to cut. So, when holding the handle with your hand and cutting down, try to force to the left to increase the bite. When cutting only one piece of paper, it doesn't matter whether you do it or not.
but when cutting thick paper, you must apply force to the left. If you can solve the problem after doing so, please refer to the practice in the fourth point above. Now explain the style with button. The function of button is to press the paper in the process of cutting down, which can replace manual pressing. However, in the process of cutting, it is still necessary to press it by hand, especially cutting large pieces of paper. Now, make a paper cutting demonstration. In the process of cutting down, the first half of the paper has been pressed by the button, so you don't need to press it by hand. However, in order to prevent the lower half of the paper from being deviated during the cutting process, we still have to press the paper with our hand. Otherwise, when cutting thick paper or multiple sheets of paper, the lower part of the paper will still be tilted by the blade. If the goods are received and the button is found to be crooked, then there are two situations. In case of outward tilt, the plastic button will be cut and damaged when cutting paper. At this time, you need to straighten the button with your hands. In case of inward tilt, the practice is the same. Just straighten the button. After straightening, it is necessary to cut several times repeatedly to make sure that the button is aligned. <laughs>